we have had a series of scandals, of failings, of errors, of mistakes of the worst possible kind over the past few years. I'm not just talking about David Carrick, I'm talking about other cases, Wayne Cousins, I'm talking about the Charing Cross report, I'm talking about the Daniel Morgan independent report, the private detective who was killed in 1987 and corruption played its part in that. I'm talking about Operation Midland. Um, you know, the list goes on. Stephen Port, the serial killer, blunders there. The Met has stood outside that revolving sign, apologising time and time again. And how much longer can this go on? Because for me, you have to join the dots. And the thread that links those dots is there is something systemically wrong with yeah. the culture of the force. There are thousands of brilliant officers. I want to say this really important, and I've met many of them who do amazing work, investigative work, solve crimes, pursue murderers, brilliant, dedicated, professional, full of integrity. But there is a cultural problem there. And how much longer can you just keep standing there apologizing for it? I think Danny, something radical needs to happen to try and shake up that culture, which is why I'm suggesting uh, there needs to be a discussion about a complete uh, sort of reset of this organisation. Do do, I mean, do you think this is just limited to the Met Police? I mean, uh, is it not likely that uh, actually some of, uh, maybe not as obviously as extreme as David Carrick's case, which was particularly terrible, but do you not think some of these problems happen in other police forces as well? Um, I mean, is, is this really a... Met police issue, or is it a wider national police issue? I think there are two issues that we're looking at here. One is a problem of misogyny, abuse, discrimination, harassment, failure to tackle domestic abuse uh, properly within the ranks of the police service, uh, you know, across a number of forces. I think you're absolutely right, and I'm sure that there are other forces that will un, uh, uh, unturn, overturn those stones and find some really awful things underneath. We've already seen examples uh, of departments, for example, in Hampshire police uh, that were abusive uh, and had a terrible attitude towards women and ethnic minorities. And there are other examples too. So, so yes, that's an issue. But there is a Met-specific issue. It's not just about this scandal. OK, it's so if it is a Met specific issue, um, Danny, is of that force, the biggest in the country. If it is a Met specific issue, is Mark Rowley then the man to do it? Look, Mark's only been Mark Rowley's only been in place for four months. But I he's think been he's there a good man, an intelligent man. And, and he, he, well, he, he was away from policing for four years. Uh, and but he was. Yes, he had a senior role at the Met for a number of years. I think at the moment, I think he is the best person to do the job and he's got a very able deputy in Dame Leon Owens as well. I don't have, there's no issue for me with, with them and I doing, I think they're doing the things that you would expect them to do, the right things. They're saying the right things. They're doing the reviews of vetting checks of, of officers and so on. They're bolstering the, the anti-corruption and anti-abuse command. They're doing the right things, but it's a wider picture because you know this year, we're going to see further stories like this. We're going to see further bad headlines. We're Do you know have, of any specifically? Of and reviews into the Met. You can't just keep on apologising and saying, right. well, Danny, we'll sure. carry on with the force as it is.